Hey guys, so this is my April budget. This is for my server income um, for my main server job. And then on the other side, this is where I plan out my child support and my alimony, which I already did it over here. I'm just gonna transfer it basically and explain it to you guys. So on March 19th, I got 674. All this stuff, for the most part, I pay it on credit card and then I pay back the card right away. So I home is my sinking funds for my house. So that's for my boiler, water heater, all that kind of stuff. And then Central Hudson is our gas and electric here. So it's 220. This you can pay on a credit card. They don't charge you any fees. So I do that to accrue points. And then parking was a parking ticket that I got. And I ended up having to pay $10 because I got a late fee on it. And then I just use this. I'm gonna do it in pencil. And then I'm just gonna leave a line just in case I need to go back and change it. But what I write, I'm gonna do it in pencil. And then the lines, I'm gonna do it in pen because I make mistakes a lot and I don't wanna go back. So I'll write it in pencil and then I'll go over it in pen. So that's for April 19th, sorry, March 19th. I am like two weeks ahead. So that's why it still says March. So April 1st, I get alimony and that's 250. So with that, I, I use it for my retirement, which it gets automatically withdrawn and that's $50. I was at 250 last month and that's my first month ever doing a retirement fund. I am a server, so we don't get any kind of retirement uh, benefits. So I lowered it to $50 because I'm in a lot of debt and I do still wanna save for retirement, but I just can't really manage doing the 250 right now. So I, I lowered it to $50. Verizon is for my Wi-Fi. And that is $60. This one is on auto pay, so it does get automatically withdrawn. And then Chase is for one of my credit cards that I was using. So that's $140. And then this will equal $250. I'm just going to go back and double check it when I'm done. Okay. So then April 2nd, I get my other child support which is 674 i do get bi-weekly payments <clears throat> so with that i first i always write down the bills so my first bill is my son's school so that is 90 dollars. we both pay 90 dollars, and he's in preschool and then i pay spotify which comes out of my credit card and then I pay it back when I get this money. It comes out on the second, so I usually pay it right away. Uh, the retirement, I did it with here and progressive is due on the ninth, but I always pay it early. So I put it on my credit card as well. There's no extra charge for that. So I usually pay these two together and send 130 and then this gets taken out. Um, so Central Hudson, is on the 21st so that was already here so I'm not going to pay it because it's not due yet I'll have another child support payment before I have to pay that and then Verizon was already over here I want to try and get all my bills onto one of these child support payments and pay everything at one time or allocate the money all for one time um, so I'm gonna see if maybe for May I can do it so then I have Macy's. I bought my son two sets of pajamas. I had a coupon for my birthday, so I ended up paying $15 for four sets of pajamas, which is a good deal. Home is for my sinking funds as well. So it's $450. That's how much I put away every month for a new roof. My I need to get a new roof in like five years, I believe, and it's $10,000, so I put that away. I need a new water heater, furnace, just all that stuff. I have it all in my sinking funds breakdown, which is going to be my next video. So if you want to see how I do that, you can see that there. Um, and then 
Chase is another 165. And Optimum is for Wi-Fi from my last apartment. I do still owe the money from that, so I need to pay that, 55. Citibank is a credit card that is on a 0% interest. Um, so $35 is the minimum payment. And then Dentist is $30. That's just for a some work that I had done previously, and I that's the last payment. That's how much I owe. So right now, it says I have $94 left over. I might put it towards my Lowe's card. I'm not really sure yet, so I'm just going to leave two lines here and then see how that goes. And then here I am going to be doing my income from my part-time server job. So this is a part-time server job, but I work here weekend, so I make most of my money here. I make like $200 a night sometimes. And then at my other job, I make maybe two, dollars $300 a week. So I work weekday nights there and some lunches, so I don't make as much money as I do on my other job. So I'm going to put that here. Um, so I do know, so I'm just actually going to just double check this first. So I have 674 here and I paid myself $400 for my sinking funds. All right. 674 and then 674 I paid $400 for my house sinking funds, 220 for Central Hudson and then $50 for a parking ticket. So that leaves me with $4 in my bank account as a buffer. And then for this money, I had $250. Um, $50 gets taken out for my retirement automatically. Verizon will get taken out as well automatically. And then I have $140, which I will send to Chase. And then, so that's good. And then $674 here, minus $90 for my son's school, $15 for Spotify. Uh, so then that's 115 for my, this is actually wrong. And this is why I do it in pencil. This is actually 125 this month. My insurance went up. Okay. So minus 115. I'm going to take out another 10 for the 125. $15 for Macy's. $50 for home to complete my sinking funds. 165 for Chase. 55 for Optimum. 35 for Citibank and 30 for the dentist. So it leaves me with $94 left over. So yeah, so that's this. And then I will, I do this as I go, but let me just look at my last month to make sure that I do it right. All right. So this is how I did it. Okay. So I guess I did March 22nd to March 28th, check, and then how much I made, and then this is not even going to fit one. going to do this as well. Okay. So this is why I write in pencil. Like I always start somehow here and always start writing over there. I should have made that line from the beginning. But I will fill this out um, as I go. So this is how I budget my income that is not variable. This is my income that I know I'm going to receive. Um, so I hope it makes sense to you guys and this is how I do it so that I can pay off my debt. Well, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day, bye.